Hi, everyone. I'm Gonzalo Espinosa, a senior product engineer in the ArcGIS Living Atlas of the World team. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to detect temporal changes in the landscape using the new continuous change detection and classification tool in ArcGIS Pro. Did you know that in the past 20 years, there has been an increase in valley fever cases across the southwestern United States? Valley fever is an infectious disease that affects the respiratory system in humans. It is caused by a fungus living in the soil, changes in rainfall patterns, periods of drought, and low soil moisture fragment the soil into small particles. Those are dispersed into the air we breathe. Consequently, the population living in areas with higher dust concentration values can be affected by valley fever. Dust storms are common in dry areas where their frequency and intensity has increased. In some parts of the Southwest, there is more dust today than it was 40 years ago. Changing environmental conditions are closely linked to diseases such as valley fever. The study of environmental variables across the landscape and their changes over time can improve public health. Today, I will demonstrate how the continuous change detection and classification tool available beginning with the 2.6 release of ArcGIS Pro can be used to detect changes in dust concentrations. The continuous change detection and classification algorithm is a method for identifying change in pixel values over time. Changes can happen for three reasons. First, there are seasonal changes. For example, changes in vegetation from summer to winter. Second, there are gradual changes. For example, increasing temperature or decreasing rainfall over time. And third, there are abrupt changes, such as changes in land use or land development. The CCDC algorithm identifies all these three change types with the primary purpose of identifying abrupt changes. Harmonic regression and trend models are fitted to the data to estimate seasonal and gradual changes. Sudden deviations from the trend models are indication of abrupt changes. The CCDC tool uses a multidimensional raster layer detecting temporal changes at each location. In this demo, first I will show you a multidimensional raster layer in ArcGIS Pro, displaying dust concentration from the NASA MERA reanalysis dataset. Then I run the change detection tool to fit a model and identify areas where dust concentrations are changing. Finally, I will show you the regions with the most changes in dust concentration in the southwestern United States. These regions might be affected by a higher number of valley fever cases in the future. This map of the southwestern United States shows a dust concentration multidimensional raster layer with data from the 1980s to 2020. The time-enabled raster layer shows the absolute concentrations in kilograms per cubic meter. We can see the seasonal changes in dust concentration and locations with higher values, such as the area between Southern California and Arizona. We can also see areas where changes in dust levels occur frequently. These areas of persistent change in dust concentration coupled with precipitation data can help determine the relative risk of spikes in the number of valley fever cases. Identifying these areas can help inform public health decisions and mitigation strategies to reduce the number of infections. We run the Analyze Changes using CCDC tool to generate a model that describes the temporal patterns of dust concentration at each location in the raster layer. We select the dust multidimensional raster layer as an input and select the band one 
for detecting change. The rest of the statistical parameters are related to the sensitivity of the model to detect changes. The CCDC algorithm recognizes the seasonal, gradual, and abrupt changes and identifies when significant changes in the fitted model occur. The output raster layer includes information about the model, that is, the fitting coefficients, which in some cases change over time because those concentration patterns also change. These patterns are what the CCDC tool identifies. A temporal profile shows when the model coefficients and local conditions in those concentrations have changed. Next, we run the detect changes using change analysis raster tool to identify regions with the most changes. We select the analyze change output raster from the previous tool as an input, and we select the number of changes as the change type. The tool can also be used to identify when the first, last, or largest change occurred. The CCDC tool detects areas in California with changing conditions in those concentrations, especially the areas in the San Joaquin Valley. Changes in rainfall patterns and increasing temperatures result in larger dust concentrations over time. The CCDC tool detects these changes, providing relevant information of how different environmental conditions affect public health, just as with valley fever. In conclusion, in this presentation, we explored how the continuous change detection and classification tool in ArcGIS Pro can identify areas with increased dust concentration that can potentially lead to valley fever cases. First, we used a multidimensional raster layer of dust data. Second, we ran the change detection tool to fit a dust harmonic model and detect changes. Finally, we mapped the regions in the southwestern United States with changing dust concentrations. Detecting and analyzing changes in the environment is beneficial to public health and can help understand and reduce exposure to infectious diseases such as valley fever.